Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, New Wind International. This is your boy, Brian. Good to have y'all here with me this morning. Just doing some technical things here. All right, there we go. Well, um, <clears throat> God is good. <laughs> um, he really, truly is. Uh, uh, I did uh, a broadcast, uh, I guess, uh, two two days ago or a day ago, if I'm not mistaken. And just had some time with just some live soaking. And if you weren't able to catch that, I encourage you to check that out. It's really good, uh, and we're gonna do that more often. Um, one of the things that I, you know, I shared. Excuse me. One of the things that I shared was that during this, during the time of just soaking, I really don't do any like um, um, re release anything prophetically while I'm playing. <laughs> it's just more just just singing, uh, just playing the uh, you know the music and you hearing God for yourself. And so uh, we're going to do that more often. We're going to do that more often. And so uh, just be looking out for that. Um, this morning, I just want to do some more worship. And, uh, you know, this <laughs> uh, today, uh, I'm just, we're, you know, we're just going to just get into this. And, you know, as I hear some things prophetically, I will release it. Um, but uh, I want to tell you all uh, as well that if you um would like to um uh, or, or you like the worship that you're hearing <laughs> uh, from the ministry here i have uh, uh two cds or actually or actually it's three <laughs> that's on my uh, product page now that i just put up the first one is dimension level one and that was a cd that i released uh 2009 and so um what makes this uh, uh dimension one different is just straight music just <laughs> just instrumental uh what makes it different i actually added a song to it so uh but it's, it's something great for you to play in your house or in your car you know just something for you to be able to, like when you're worshiping god or you know you're having your prayer time you could just have that going you know just have that playing uh uh while uh uh, while you you know while you're having your time with God, so I want to make that available to you. Also, the uh, the other CD is Dimension Level Two, okay, which I just uh, released uh, this month. And so uh, on Dimension Level Two, it's uh, me actually singing, but it's songs that I have done on uh, on a broadcast, or a different broadcast that I've done. And I just put them all together and uh, just boom, there it is. <laughs> so uh, that's Dimension Level 2. And the third one uh, that's on the product page is called Let It Rain. Uh, many of you heard me sing this song several times, um, Let It Rain, Let It Rain. Uh, so that's the name of the CD, uh, Let It Rain. And so uh, it's on the product page, so make yourself available to that. Uh, if you would, if you like, if you know, you just love prophetic worship and, and, you know, you just want to have something playing in your car, you know, <laughs> by all means, check that out. And, uh, and, uh, every, all the information is on our product page, which is on our website. Okay. Um, if this ministry, ministry has been a blessing to you, uh, God has done some things in your life. Uh, there's some, uh, prophetic uh, words that have that that you have heard me release, that have manifest, that have come to pass, and all of that. Uh, we have a page that we just put up uh, called testimony page, and it's for you to leave your your praise reports, you know, and just what and just what the Lord um, has done in your life. We want to know that, and also we want others to see. Um, see what the lord has done now 
it's not anything to like to pump us up or pump me up or anything. But I really do believe the scripture that says that um, that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word <clears throat> of our testimony. OK. And so I believe that's very, very important that your testimony plays a big part in your witness. And so when someone hears what the Lord has done for you, wow, it just just uh, boosts their faith to believe God <clears throat> for their uh, for their for their own lives for their own lives and so so yeah so just uh feel free to uh to do that and make yourself available to that at the bottom of the screen there you'll see a chat box uh, and uh, feel free to put your prayer requests in your praise reports you know uh while worship is going on or uh i encourage you as well if something prophetically is coming out uh being released um uh, I, I just encourage you that if, if that's you, you know, if, if something said and like, man, yeah, that's me. Hey, use that chat box, you know, right. You know, just put it on there. I'm, I'm looking at it, uh, on my side of the screen here. So, uh, feel free to, you know, just to do that. Okay. Praise God. All right. Well, Father, we just bless you today. We just love you. We honor you. We magnify your name, God. Father, there is just none like you, Lord. And I thank you uh, for those who have taken out their time, yes, Lord, to just to join me this morning, God, to uh, just to worship you, uh, uh, to worship you, Lord God. Uh, and, and Lord, as we worship together, Lord, Father, I thank you for some tangible things happening this morning um, in the lives of your people. And I pray today, God, uh, for for healings and and just miracles and breakthroughs god father i pray lord god for just major confirmation uh to be released to to the body this morning and so lord i love you and i bless you today and i just decree and declare lord god just a total change god in the lives of your people father i thank you lord for um i thank you father for what you're doing in our soul Father, I thank you for bringing healing and wholeness, Lord God, to our minds, our will, and emotions, Lord. And we love you for it today. In Jesus' mighty name, we just bless you for it now. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Before we before we even get started, let's just like just just honor him before we even sing a song. Just you know, just just prepare your heart to receive right now. Just you know, just release release your faith, release your faith. Yeah, just release your faith. Mm hmm. Just release your faith. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yeah, just release your faith. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we love you. We love you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. Just to let you know that that uh, uh, just to let you know that we are uh, recording this not only on the video but audio, so if you wanna uh, <laughs> if you would like the the audio of this session, you just email me and we'll get that to you give you all the details on how you can uh, get that, okay? Come on, let's just worship the Lord now.
sensing already that his love is taking the pain away there's there's someone you're dealing with uh, a pain and I just I just see the Lord just um, he's he's literally taking the pain out of you oh God thank you for loving the pain away Thank you for loving the pain away, God. I hear you saying, I've done all I can do. I've done everything that I know to do, and I've done everything that you told me to do, God. But it seems like the pain is there. It's just still there. And God says, all I want you to do now is just rest now and just let me, let me love that pain away. As a matter of fact, it, it, was, it was hard for you even to get to this place uh, because even just touching that pain, touching that area, it was a sore spot. And I hear the Lord just saying that, let me love it away. You know, when the Lord touches you, it's out of love. You know, when he when he releases his love, it's, it's like it's like a it's like a touch. It's like someone grabbing you by the hand. And the father's just like, man, he's just like, wow, he's just taking it. <clears throat> he's just taking it all the way. He's just taking it all the way. Let his love take it all the way today. 
We release the love. We release the love. Oh God. Oh God. We release the love. We release the love. If that's you, just just you know. Just receive that. the spirit that this is deep I sense it this is not some light pain but this is deep and and only his love can go this deep may I just share with you this revelation that the Lord gave me some time ago you know sometimes people people cringe at um, uh, seeing the sight or, or just hearing the story when Jesus was being uh, uh, whipped by the uh, Roman uh, uh, soldiers. <clears throat> they get uneasy about that because on that whip, you know, it wasn't just like we see in the movies where he was whipping, he had some lashes, you know. It wasn't like that. If you do a study on that, on on each part of the of, of the whip, on the straps there, there were bone and pieces of metal and all that stuck to it to the point to where when they was whipping Jesus, it literally like latched onto his flesh and when they pulled back it ripped his flesh. And think about now those pieces, those bones, those pieces you know, of, of metal went deep into the flesh. Mm -hmm. And when they pull back violently to, to whip him again, it ripped the flesh. Now, why was that necessary? Why, why did Jesus just, just, just stay there and just allow them to do that? Why? It was more than about prophecy being fulfilled. But Jesus stood there and laid there and took that for this moment right now. Here's why. Here's why. Because he knew that there were some pains that were not just going to be surface, but there were going to be some pains that were going to be some serious, deep pain, serious, deep pain issues some deep stuff in our flesh <clears throat> deep stuff in our soul 
And he says, I, you know, I got to take this because there's got to be healing, not just for the surface stuff. But I got to release healing. I got to release healing for even the deep areas. Think about it now. Jesus, Jesus was and is the healer. Okay. So that healing had to go deep. It couldn't just rest on the surface, but it had to go deep. So today, out of his love for you and I, that healing goes deep. That healing, that healing goes deep. And this is the reason why we can sing this. This is the reason why we can command the herd to go, even the deep areas. Why? Because, because he allowed them to whip him in that manner. He allowed his flesh to be ripped because he knew that you were going to be dealing with some things that felt like a ripping. And there had to be, there had to be healing for the places in your life where you felt ripped. So now in this moment right now, I just want you to just lift up your hands if that's you. And I just want you to just sing this song. Just sing this song here. Just sing it. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for loving the hurt away. Come on. As you sing this, I see the healing of the Lord happening. Jesus. Now it's very important that you forgive right now. It's very important that you forgive right now. It's very important that you just let go of the offense. Let go of the one that hurt you. Let go the one who ushered in the pain. Sometimes it's other people. Sometimes it's ourselves. Come on, you got to forgive yourself as well. Oh, oh, forgive yourself now. Come on, just release that. Release that. Release that. Release those. <clears throat> release those individuals that hurt you. Even release yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just, just, just put, 
put that stuff under the blood. There's someone that you were talked about that you made fun of when you were young, uh, when you were in school. You know, I, I went through that as well. Come on, forgive them now. Put that stuff under the blood. I just want to. I just want to sing this real quick. I just hear this in my spirit. I just hear this in my spirit. Thank you, Lord.
you can begin again. I hear the Lord saying right now, you can begin again. Oh, get yourself up. You can begin again. Get yourself up now, now, now. You can begin again. Don't wait another minute. Don't wait another second. You can begin again. Don't wait. Don't wait. No, you can begin again. It's your time to rise up, to rise and begin again. The glory of the Lord is causing you to arise again. Yeah, I know you said, I know you said I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it on my own. I can't do it anymore. But God says to you now, God says to you now, you can, you can and you will. So rise up now, rise up now, and begin again, and begin again. Oh, rise up now, rise up now, and begin again. Oh, rise up now, rise up now, and begin again. You can do it. Don't let it put you down anymore. You can do it. Oh, that false burden, that false burden, that false burden. Oh, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go now, now, so you can begin again oh now now forgive yourself yeah and begin again yeah yeah <laughs> come on forgive yourself Forgive yourself and begin again now, now. 
you can begin again. Oh, you can begin again. I hear God saying, who told you that you couldn't get up? Who told you? Who told you that you couldn't start over? Who told you that you could never have a beginning again? Who told you that this was over? Who told you that this was it? That you might as well just accept things the way they are. The enemy lied to you and said that there was no coming back from this. But God says you can begin again because my light, my glory has arisen upon you. And so you can begin again. Think about that now. When the sunlight shines on a plant, it causes it to grow. So if the sunlight shines on a plant and causes it to grow, how come the sun, the light from the S-O-N, can't cause you to grow? <clears throat> Come on, rise up. You can begin again. Oh, yeah. Come on, I will arise. I will arise. Yeah. I will arise. I will arise. So what are you waiting for? There's nothing stopping you now. your time to arrive this is your time to your time to arise and shine this is your time to arise and shine <laughs> this is your time to time to arise and shine oh this is this is your time you know the word of the Lord for 2011 
was uh, that the Lord said that the number 11 represented uh, several things, but <clears throat> the number 11 meant, or means, I should say, uh, end, stop, finish, last. Okay? That whatever cycles or whatever things that were going on in your life that uh, came to uh, torment you or whatever things that you were dealing with, it seemed like it was just you were going around a mountain, you know, and it was like the same stuff going on happening. He says, this is the year that you will release and you will say, stop, end. This, is, this will finish. This is the last of this. And it will happen. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the Lord said to me that the first this year, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. So if you found yourself coming in last, <clears throat> if you found yourself coming in last and if you have put yourself last hallelujah god says now now this is the year where you are bring you are uh going to be first in other words he says the first shall be last and the last shall be first and what he was saying was that that there are many of you and this was the this was the word uh this year uh, and I shared this uh, in the early part of this year that that for those of you who God has told you to humble yourselves or you have found yourself in places where you had to humble yourself. And I mean, it was hard. It was a struggle for you to do this. God says that you were making yourself last. And so he says this year, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So in other words, those who had been striving <clears throat> to get to first, okay? Those who manipulated their way, you know, uh, uh, did all kind of fleshly stuff to get to the front of the line, all right? Uh, God says that now where you took your time to really focus in on just humbling yourself <clears throat> and submitting unto my will, okay, and yielding to my process, God says, I'm literally taking you by the hand and pulling you to the first. I'm pulling you to the front of the line. This is what we call favor. Okay. Have you, have you noticed that? Have you noticed that like when someone is pulled to the front of the line, you know, you kind of see people, they, 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 they got their face like, you know, oh, you know, how you going, you know, how you going to jump me? What makes them all special? Da, da, da. Well, it's just favor. Okay. Because the reality is that, uh, Nobody knows the, the times that you had to say, okay, I could do this. I could, I, could, I could step on somebody. I can get over. I can, I can play the game to get to the top. But I choose in this moment right now to just to humble myself and submit myself to the process of God because I don't see, I don't see what's happening in the moment, but I see past the moment. And that's why I love about the Holy Spirit, because the Bible says that he will show you the things to come. OK, uh, in Revelations, in Revelations, John heard a voice. John heard a voice saying, come up here and I will show you the things that that must take place. And so uh, the reason why many of us, OK, have chosen to humble ourselves because we were not looking in the moment we were not focusing on what was happening in the moment but we were focusing on what we were uh seeing uh, seeing beyond the moment we were seeing something beyond where we were and so 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 we grabbed a hold of this revelation because it was like man you know what if i humble myself now <clears throat> If I follow the process of God now, then what will happen is God will bring me to the first. God will get me there. And so this is where we come into the place where we just be still and that we just rest in him and that we just allow him to get us there. Allow him to get us there. Hallelujah. So this is what God was saying, that the first shall be last and the last shall be first.
you this song from the Lord. This is my time to receive from God. 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 I will. For, uh, for many of us, we've had so many people saying to us or insinuating that this is not our time to receive from the Lord. The enemy himself has even uh, told many of you that this is not your time. This is not your time to receive from the Lord. <clears throat> Which, when you hear something like that, it takes away and steals your joy. So God says, arise now. And just declare this into the atmosphere. Declare this over your house. Declare this over your time, over your family. That this is your time to receive from the Lord. Come on. This is my time to receive from the Lord. This is my time to receive from the Lord. This is my time. I will rejoice and be glad. 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 smiling about <laughs> what you smiling about even some of your family members have said that to you mm -hmm. you know the Bible says that <laughs> you know the Bible says that uh, one of your uh, enemies you know is like you know in your household 
Bible talks about that, how your enemies would be in your own household. Sometimes you have some folks that, that like, know you. Your relatives, like, what are you smiling about? What you got to be happy for? Think, things ain't never happened for us. Things ain't, you know, we always, you know, we always been broke. We always, you know, been like this. Ain't nothing going to change in our family. See, when you make declaration like this, that this is my time, you are breaking a cycle in a generation. So when you're making this declaration, say, no, 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 it stops here. Uh, it ends right here. This is the last of poverty. This is the last of being broke. This is the last of being sick. This is the last of all this stuff cycling. It's the last of it. And so your declaration is, <laughs> this is the last of this. Because this is my time to receive from the Lord. So now when you say this is my time, you're speaking on the behalf of the generation. Oh man, I feel something breaking right now. Come on, come on. I feel something breaking right there. Come on, lift up your hands and just declare that. Come on. This is my time. Come on. To receive from the Lord. This is my time. To receive from the Lord, this is my time to receive from the Lord. This is my time, hey, to receive from the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I will Let's not leave that. Let's not leave that. Let's not leave that. Stay right there. This is my time to receive from the Lord. This is my time to receive from Come on, come on and sing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is my time to receive from the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice. And be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. Come on, just worship him as you're singing this, as you declare this. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad.
and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. Sing that, sing that. And be glad. I will rejoice. And be glad. I just see many of you just, just walking around your room <clears throat> with your hands lifted up. And if, if you're not doing that, I would just encourage you to do it. Just, just. Just make that declaration right now. I really do feel just an anointing on that. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be This is my time to receive from the Lord. This is my time to receive from the Lord. This is my time. To receive from the Lord, this is my time to receive from the Lord. I will rejoice, yes, God, and be glad. I will rejoice. And be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I just feel something happening. Come on, just declare that. This is my time, yes, to receive from the Lord. Wow, come on. This is my time to receive from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is my time. Hallelujah. To receive from the Lord, this is my time. To receive from the Lord, I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I just heard the Lord saying that this song, as you were singing it, was breaking and destroying curses.
it's it's a double declaration because it's I, I just see this because what you're saying is on uh, one end you're saying this is my time to receive from the Lord but also what you're saying is I will rejoice I will rejoice huh you gotta understand the power in that because you're telling the enemy you're not gonna make me feel bad about what God is bringing in my life oh come on see sometimes the enemy himself or he hires people people on his payroll to try to make you feel bad about what the Lord is unloading on you do you remember that the Lord said to us that there's an open heaven, open heavens in, in, in 2011, that God was shaking his best on the earth. And so God, God starts pouring into our lives. And, 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 and when you have, you have some individuals who will refuse to walk through the process of receiving the same things, they were trying to make you feel bad about what you're receiving. Now, I'm not trying to make this about a people session, but I, I really feel that many of you are going through this right now, that you're receiving from God. I mean, God has just been unloading on you, and it is the trick of the enemy because he wants to get you to back off of what God has received, received or God has given you, he wants you to back off from receiving from God so that you can say, oh, well, you know, yeah, maybe you're right. And it stops the flow. But God says, no. No. Don't let anybody, don't let the, the enemy stop you from rejoicing about what God is doing in your life. But why that's happening to you? How come they can't have it to me? What makes you so special? The devil is a lie. Don't allow individuals to make you pay or suffer for their own decisions. I think I'll say that one again. Don't allow anybody, don't allow anybody to make you feel bad or make you back up from receiving from God just because of their own decisions. See, it has nothing to do with you. Think about how many times they have told God no and how many times you have told God yes. See, 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 here's the reality of it. The reality is that if God is unloading on you the way he is, it is a manifestation, it's a confirmation, okay? It, it is a revealing of the times that you have said yes to God. The more you say yes, the more he unloads. Good God. The more you say yes, the more he unloads on you. The more he shakes his best out on you, you understand? The more you say yes, the more he shakes his best on you. And so, so individuals that don't like that, they're just hating or they're just upset because they have told God no. Well, they're receiving, they're receiving according to their choice. They have, it's a transaction. It's a transaction. <clears throat> if you plant an apple seed, you get apples. If you plant, you know, peas or corns, that's what you get. It's a divine transaction. If you, <clears throat> you tell God no, you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna get the results of no. The more you tell God no, you're gonna get the results of the results of that. And there and there are many, there are many, so many. 
who are upset with you and upset with others because of the decisions that they made. So they sowed and planted, no, 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 God. So they reap the benefits of their no. They reap the harvest of their no. In other words, the many times they planted the no gods, they got a harvest of that. And that harvest was nothing. <laughs> nothing came forth. You know, the Bible says in, <clears throat> I believe it's in, I believe it's in Ze Zephaniah, if I'm not mistaken. It says that for the people or the nation that will not come and worship the king, there will be no rain. So if we say or we tell God no and expect to receive rain or expect to receive something from him, we're going to be disappointed. So I don't want you to feel bad about what God is shaking on you. Somebody, some, the Lord is shaking a thousand dollars on some, on somebody. I just heard that. The Lord is shaking a thousand dollars on somebody. And you got some folks that want to make you feel bad just because, just because you got the thousand dollars won. <laughs> But not only that, but how you got it. What you mean it just showed up? What you mean somebody just blessed you? What you what you mean by <clears throat> what you mean by that? No, don't 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 hate me because I chose, I made a choice to believe God and to follow his process on receiving. Don't hate me. Don't get upset with me because I told God yes. I told God, yes, that I would take the necessary steps to prepare myself to receive the overflow. Mm. So many of you have been dealing with that. I just sensed that in my spirit. Many of you have been dealing with that. And it's caused you to second guess, uh, second guess this flow. I'm telling you, it's such, it's such a trick of the enemy to get to stop the flow from happening in your house. Here's the word. Bible says, I believe it's Psalm 46. I believe it's 46. There is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of our God. There are supposed to be some streams coming to you when you have made a decision to be the city of God. When you say, I am the walking city of God, <laughs> God lives here. God dwells here. God's name is on me. God, God, God's hand is on me. There's supposed to be streams coming into your life. You're supposed to be glad. Mm -hmm. And the only one that's upset is the devil and those who are on his payroll. And all these individuals have to do is just make one decision. I'm telling you, the Lord is freeing you from that. I, I really do sense that, that that many of you have been carrying the burden of others, you know, making you feel making you feel bad because you have received from God. They chose to work it out themselves. They chose to get it themselves and God has been telling them to enter my rest rest in me and let me work it let me do it and so they get angry at you because God is causing man to bless your life and here they're working through their flesh to attain the very thing that's in your hands so it's not about the things, it's not about the thousand dollars, but it really just exposes their choice. It exposes their, uh, where they are, and it just reveals, you know, to them, hey, you know, you said no. This is what, this is what 
not only what you could have had, but what you can have right now. This is what can happen in your life if you just say yes to God. Mm. <clears throat> Come on, can I just can I just teach you for a little bit? Can I can I just share a little bit? I I I, I really have been teaching, you know, in a while here. I, you know, <clears throat> I'm telling you, I really do feel this in my spirit. I really do feel this in my spirit. That many of you have been pressured to back up, been pressured to back up, you know, from the overflow of God in your life. And it's only, you know, and, and it's, it's, I'm telling you, I see this by individuals who made a choice, one decision now, a decision to tell God no. And so, and so the reality is that when they see the things that happen, <clears throat> the happenings and the suddenlies, <clears throat> excuse me, of God in your life, then you're the problem. No, you're not the problem. You know, you're not the problem. You know, see, one of the things I learned is that, that when you have individuals who choose to say no to God, <laughs> instead of them dealing with, okay, and uh, taking responsibility for their choice, okay, their choice, they make you the distraction, okay? They shine the light on you instead of shining the light on them. So God tells them, okay, you know, uh, you need to forgive. You need to let go of this offense. You need to, you know, you need to deal with this area in your life so that so some things can be released. Well, God, I ain't ready to forgive. Okay, you're not ready for a release. I don't care how many times, you know, you dance, jump, and shout, <laughs> you know, run all around the church. God says, forgive. No, I can't do that, God. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for the overflow. I'm ready for the overflow. Dance and shout <clears throat> and sing all of that. But God says, okay, you ready? All right. Here's what you need to do. You need to forgive. No, I ain't ready for that. Then you're not ready for the overflow. Mm -hmm. You know, I learned so much, you know, this weekend, and I shared this on the other broadcast I did, that uh, that my wife and I went to Muncie, Ohio, to, to see Katie Souza. And I encourage you <clears throat> to check out her, her ministry, expectinginministry.com. <clears throat> but really, God gave her a, a really powerful revelation about the soul. And one of the things she said is there are things that are held up because because of the issue the wounds of our soul the wounds of our soul so god wants to deal with the very thing that's going on in the inside and this is one of the things that she said about the about financially in particular that if our soul which is our mind will emotion is jacked up all right and we don't allow god to to uh reveal to us the issues in our soul then that very thing that he wants to release is held up so god can't release the money or can't release you know certain things into our lives and even in relationship god can't release that person into your life because <clears throat> your soul is not whole okay your soul is not healed and so we, mark chapter five is right there mark chapter five the man that who was who was filled with the, the with the spirit of legion okay three times it mentioned uh about him living in the tombs and Katie, you know, Katie taught on this. Why so I thought it was so powerful was that the tombs is it is it is it is a monument that uh, that is a perpetual. That's the word tombs mean. It's is a monument. It's a monument set up to perpetually remind you <clears throat> of like the past or uh, or your hurt or or the offense. And until we deal with that, <clears throat> until we deal deal with that stuff. We cannot receive the uh, the healing from God. So the more we tell God no, 
the more uh, the 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 uh, the more uh, we go through every day without seeing a release. Now, I mean, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Can you imagine that? God says, "All I need you. All I want you to do is just let go of the offense. All I want you to do <clears throat> is forgive. All I want you to do is be the bigger person." Okay. All I want you to do is just say, you know what, hey, you know, okay, I'm wrong for that. I apologize. Now, I'm not talking about false burden bearing. I'm not talking about taking on something that, you know, you didn't do. But it's taking responsibility of your part. And so, for, I, mean, I believe for many, uh, many who may be watching this later, that God is dealing with you and been telling you to let it go. And it's, it has nothing to do with the other person. You can release them and pardon them, let them go. That's what forgive me. You know, it's really it really doesn't have anything to do with the other person. It has a lot to do with you. Because the more you carry that, the more that thing has power of you. And it dictates your mind, your will, and your emotion. You continue to have thoughts. You continue to say your will well, I don't want to see this person. Well, I don't want to have nothing to do with that person. Okay? It continues to play with your emotions. <laughs> All right? Play with your emotion. Every time you see the person, you know, every time you hear, hear their name, you could be laughing one minute, you hear their name, or you see their face, or you see them in person, your whole mood, mood changed that quick. And see, God wants to deal with, <clears throat> with the issues and the wounds in our soul. This is the reason why the Lord is releasing his glory, his glory and his light, bringing healing to our soul. And so, I, you know, and, and it's amazing to me how the many times that, the, you know, that throughout the different broadcasts I've done, that the Lord was able to deal about unforgiveness or forgiveness or offense or, or, you know, that sort of deal. Because God is trying to make us aware of the things that's going on on the inside so that we can get healed, so that nothing can block us from receiving all that he has. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, and you know, remember the, the Lord gave me this revelation about the mind, will, and emotion, that if our mind, our will, and emotion is not governed by the word of God, if it's not governed and ruled by the word of God, then it is open to the enemy to just, you know, doing all sorts of deal, playing with your mind, playing with your will, playing with your emotions, okay? The, the word of God is there to rule and to umpire to say, this will not happen here, <clears throat> okay? This thought comes in your mind, the word of God, boom, counter, counteracts that, destroys the thought, okay? <clears> okay? <throat> Stuff start messing with your will. What you will won't do. No, the word of God speaks. Counteracts that. Your emotions going up and down. The word of God wow, brings stableness to your emotions. So we got to get healed in that area. I think one of the things, or one of the things she said I thought was so powerful is that, you know, how can God, she was saying this uh, uh, financially, about financially, how can God release what he wants our hand if our soul is not healed? Okay, because think about it now. If God, if God dropped on us a million dollars right now, <laughs> if God dropped a million dollars in our hand right now, if our soul <clears throat> is not healed, we will take that million dollars and do whatever we want to do with it. Okay. Our mind says, well, I want to do this. You know, my will says, I'm going to do this, you know, because it, you know, you know, I feel that uh, I'm, you know, I feel that I'm entitled to this. Or I, I feel that I deserve this. I, you know, and it's, and it's like, it's like God gives you a specific purpose for it. It's like, now remember now, you know, I want you to use it for this. Okay. This is what I want you to do. But now I got my own plans. God. I don't got my own purpose, you know, what I'm going to do with this. And so he cannot trust you. And he cannot trust you with the money. And so what, I mean, it was a challenging word 
it was a challenging word that she gave that that many you know that that those who were even in ministry that was not seeing uh donations or <clears throat> money coming in it's because our soul wasn't right because how can god trust you to do what you're supposed to do with it <laughs> okay if uh you know why would he lay it on you like that if you're going to do it whatever you want to do with it i believe it 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 goes even past money as well but also with vision god wants to release his vision in your life but he says it's it's my vision i want you to do this the way i'm showing you to do it <laughs> and so we have to really get this thing this soul heal we have to stop saying no to god <laughs> i just felt the shift here right now i just i just really felt the shift here this is why i'm ministering this way you know we got you know i i just we really you know and i i'm just i'm just saying this to that you know and i don't know who it is that need to hear this i really don't i really don't know and it's okay well all i'm telling you is you got to stop saying no to God. Now, God gives you the free choice to say yes or no. But, however, whatever you sow, you will reap. So, if you say no to God, you will reap the results, okay, of you saying no or you sowing no. You say yes to God. You will reap the benefits of that. Now, Lord, heal us today. It doesn't stop. It does. It doesn't stop. Okay. It does not stop. Lord, heal us today. Heal our soul. <clears throat> heal our soul. You know, the reason why we say no is because there's there's something going on with our will something going on there god heal our soul today heal our soul i can remember two i can remember like uh, at two different times when i was doing a broadcast at two different times um the lord gave gave me a song about saying yes i'll never forget that and Anytime God does that, it's because he's he's trying to he's trying to get the answer to us. Okay? He's trying to get through to us. We go all you know, we go all around about to try to get the answer. And God said, no, no, all you need to do is just this. This is all that's needed. And so. I just feel that right now. I just really just feel that right now. That that song and just closing with that. And it just simply just says I say yes. Come on now, if that's you, if 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 the Lord was speaking to you about this this issue of saying no. <laughs> Come on, just yield, yield that to him right now. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. Right now. I say yes. I say yes. 
Father, I bless you today, and I thank you for this time together with your precious people, and I just love you, Lord, for everything that you have said. You have encouraged, you have challenged, and Lord, our prayer today, God, and our choice today is to say yes. Because, God, we don't want to miss out on anything that you have for us. Now, Father, for everyone that has said yes to you, open up the windows of heaven, God, and shake your best on them. I decree that what everything that was held up because of strife, because of pride, because of unforgiveness, because of offense, even because of sin. 
Father, I thank you now that is no more. Yes. It is no longer hung up, Lord God. It's no longer held up any longer. But there's a major release. There's a major release, an overhaul, an overflow. Hallelujah. To the lives of your people, in Jesus' mighty name. I hear the Lord saying this, prepare for the best. Prepare for the best. Prepare for the best. He's shaking the best on the earth. He says, prepare for the best now in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we just seal this today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining me, you all. I appreciate your uh, your time. Once again, feel free to sign up for our newsletter uh, so that you will know what's going on. Also, uh, take advantage of the testimony page there on our website. Uh, if the Lord has spoken to you today and done something fresh in your life, I encourage you to just go ahead and just put your testimony there. Uh, uh, make yourself available to the products uh, on our uh, product page. And if you would like a copy of this broadcast uh, today uh, to play in your car, you can just uh, shoot me an email right there at the bottom of your screen, brian at newwindinternational.com. Brian at newwindinternational.com. Okay. All right. Love you much. Love you much. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.